Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Hi. Hi. Nora. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, hello, Sassin. Hi, Mauricio. Godofredo, here too. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Good? Good, good, teacher. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. While the others get in, while the others join the join the session, we are going to hacer un pequeño repaso de ayer. What was the video? Mientras terminan de ingresar. All right, here we go. Uh, let's let me test the sound. Okay. And okay. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on. Turn right on. On the right. On the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, 
how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library? Or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about this vocabulary from here? No? Okay. I will need a... Solo podría poner otra vez las respuestas. The which one? ¿Cuál es? Que cuando se pregunta para llegar a, okay. al lugar. Uh -huh. We're going to do this one and after we're going to have, I'm going to play the conversation y después les pongo las respuestas. No problem. Okay. okay. Good. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Okay, this is one, for example. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral, right? And then the lady say, just walk up Fifth Avenue. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Okay, just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street, right? St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Is it near, okay, it's near, está cerca de Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right, across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? This is another question. And thank you, it said, and where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Right behind. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Okay. Esta es la que querían ver? This question? Eh, no, no, no. Las, las siguientes. Siguiente, okay. Pero sí, las siguientes. How can I get to Bryant Park? Learn. Four questions. Can I get to? Then we mention a turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? And like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? This one? Estas? Sí, 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 teacher. 
okay. center, or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now, let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to <clears throat> St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. Okay, but here says for example, we are on 42nd Street and you want to go to St. Patrick's Cathedral, right? You say walk up, this is Madison Avenue, walk up, mina hacia arriba, right? Go walk up Madison Avenue to 50, okay, to 50th Street. Okay, turn left. And then walk to 5th Avenue. Turn right. St. Patrick's Cathedral is on the right. Okay, now listen. Ahora es de ir de regreso hasta New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step? to get to New York Public Library. For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. Okay, if you're coming down, you say walk down. Estamos acá, walk down. Here is walk up, hacia arriba. Now walk down Fifth Avenue to 42nd Street. Turn right. Okay. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Okay. ¿Quién se anima a darme la dirección desde el Grand Central Terminal to the Empire State Building? One volunteer. Roger. Uh, the the Empire State. No, the, from here, Grand Central Terminal here. Uh -huh. To the Empire State Building. Uh -huh. Right? Okay, okay. Usted me va diciendo, usted me va diciendo y vean el pointer, okay? Uh -huh. Um sería uh, turn left on on 42 second street. Okay, but aquí, walk. Uh -huh. Walk to. To 40 second street. Walk to. Okay, walk on 40 second street to 5th walk. Avenue. Yeah? Okay. Camine sobre, walk on 40 second street to 5th Avenue. Hasta la 5th Avenue. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. okay, and now? And now, um, and go down. down. Turn. Avenue. Turn left. Turn left or turn right? 
turn turn left. Okay, turn left. Uh huh. Go down. Turn left. Go down. Um, go down Fifth Avenue. Okay, go down Fifth Avenue. Uh huh. Two. To uh, to Empire State. To Thirty Fourth um, Street. Okay, to Thirty Fourth Street. The spa, the Empire State Building is. Thirty Thirty Fourth Street. Uh -huh. On the right. On the right. Right. Okay. On the right. Okay, so then you begin walk on Forty Second Street. Camine sobre la 42, right? Mm -hmm. To Fifth Avenue, hasta la Quinta Avenida, right? Turn left, right. cruce a la izquierda, go down, go down Fifth Avenue, to 34th Street, okay? Baje sobre la Quinta hasta la 34 calle, right? Mm -hmm. Then the Empire State Building está a la derecha, is on the right. Okay? Okay. Okay. Simple. Good. Good, Roger. Thank you very much. Now, okay. another one uh, from Brian Park to, to Rockefeller, right? Rockefeller Center. Another volunteer. Otro voluntario? Thank you, Ceci. Voluntario. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Walk. The key from here, uh huh? Walk. Walk up Sixth Avenue. Okay. Ya no veo otra calle. Uh, this one. Forty-nine. Um. Okay. Uh, walk up Sixth Avenue. Uh huh. On forty nine to forty nine street to forty nine street. Uh -huh. Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center. Then is on the right. Is on the right. Rockefeller Center is on the right. Uh huh. Está a la derecha, right? Ya no se pierde. Okay. okay. Good. Eh, Let's see one. For example, the let me see. Uh, if we are in Santa Tecla, okay, and we go to Santa Ana, right? Then when we're coming down Los Chorros, where is Colón? On the right or on the left? ¿Quién conoce por acá? On the right. 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 Viendo para abajo, on the right. Yes, okay. Uh, yes. Ok, good. Mm -hmm. Y si vamos al contrario. Yes. Ah, on the left. On the left. On the left. Okay. On the left, good. If we're coming from Santa Ana to Santa Tecla, ok. Eh, El poliedro, where is Puma El Poliedro, the gas station? On the right. On the right. On the right. Santa Ana to Santa Tecla, the Puma is the gas line. The gas station? Gas station, excuse me. Gas station? Gas station, Puma, it's on the right. It's on the right, that's correct. Perfect, okay, good. That is, you know, something practical, right? Okay, do you live right. in San Salvador? Yes? yes okay. okay, then for example, where is, uh, let's see, suppose I want to go to, uh, let's say, um, El Salvador del, from El Salvador del Mundo to, yes. to Flor Blanca Stadium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
you go to go down or walk down oh you go down uh -huh. to to uh, avenida roosevelt uh, roosevelt, no, roosevelt uh, avenue. avenue excuse roosevelt me avenue. Yes. Uh -huh. and then go to a to, street to, to what is the street of the stadium well, it's not um, Flor Blanca, it's Mexico, uh, 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 Stadium Flor Blanca or uh, Mexico Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. The name of the stadium. Mexico Gonzalez, yes. It's on? On uh, uh, right. It's on the right. It's on the right. It's on 49, 49th Street. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, 49th Street. Okay, it's 49. on the right. Uh, it's on the right on 49th Street. Yes. Street. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, uh, Alfredo? Okay, good. If you come in from El Salvador del Mundo, you go down lo, eh, Roosevelt Avenue. Uh -huh, to, sí, to, for, to 49th Street. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Magico Gonzalez is on the right. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Teach. Okay. Ahora estamos en el Magico Gonzalez, right? And I want to go to Selectos Olímpica. What do I do? But selectos uh, turn, ah, in front of uh, in front of uh, Stadium Flor Blanca because no, no. in front of the, the street yes but the, uh -huh. the supermarket no 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 yes but if you um, Okay, okay. Anybody can help? Uh huh. Then you are at the Flor Blanca Stadium or Magico Gonzalez. Then walk up Avenida Olimpica. Okay, walk up Avenida Olimpica. Turn to. Let me see. To like 500 meters. Yes. And the Super Selectus is. On the corner of 47th, I guess, 47th Street and Avenida Olimpica. It's on the left. Okay. Eh, teacher, so, ¿cómo yes. se diría? Eh, el, el Super Selecto queda antes, no, eh, antes del Super Selecto, usted pasa por la Universidad Francisco Gaviria. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. A mano izquierda. ¿Cómo se diría ahí? No, but you don't have to say pasaporte. Then you just have to say, for example, the uh, it's on the uh, go uh, walk up Avenida Olímpica to Forty Seventh Street. Okay, and the super selector is uh, on the corner of Forty Seventh and Avenida Olímpica next to next to Francisco Gabriel. Francisco Gabriel University. Thank you. Okay, yes. Okay, another one. Okay. Good, Roger. No problem. Okay, any other question? Okay, uh, Josabeth, what is where is Metro Centro? San Salvador, Josabeth. I don't live in San Salvador. Where do you live, Josabeth? I live in San Sonate. Sonsonate. What is Metro Centro Sonsonate? Yeah. There is a Metro Centro there. I am not good at remember direction. <laughs> okay, across from, across, next to, don't remember. <laughs> I am not remember. Don't remember. Not <laughs> okay, good, no problem. Okay, so then if, if you can say, okay, why don't you take a taxi and <laughs> then that's going to be easy. Okay, let me see, Karen. Karen, where do you live, Karen?
Karen, Karen. No. Question teacher. Yes, Question. Alfredo. Tell me. Este, entonces, yo como todavía me cuesta un poco el vocabulario. Uh -huh. Este, como yo estudio así en la Universidad Nacional, va. Uh -huh. Para llegar aquí, así, digamos, desde, eh, desde, el bule, desde el boulevard hasta llegar allá, así sería por, por calles, así. ¿Pero desde dónde? Pues, desde aquí, desde Soyapango hasta la Universidad Nacional. Bueno, well, let O oh, tendría que ser una dirección más corta. Eh, well, you can, uh, the thing is, it depends how much you know. If you live in Soyapango, for example, I would say go. Go on los, eh, el, ok, take the, eh, el ejército, let's say the, bueno, it has to be in Spanish, el boulevard, boulevard, de boulevard del ejército, right? To, let me see, uh, to, 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 I mean, go straight, uh -huh, straight to, el, to los, to Alameda Juan Pablo II. Uh -huh. uh, no, uh -huh, to Alameda Juan Pablo II, then, to Los Héroes, eh, Los Héroes Boulevard, turn right, turn right, right. And, uh -huh, turn right, and go, and go straight ahead, vaya a ser recto, go straight ahead on Los eh, Héroes Boulevard, up to the, up to the Hospital Bloom, or Bloom Hospital, right? All right. And then eh, you will see the, you will see the university in front of you. Okay, but you can say that, okay. right? Please, okay. Go to the, take, tome el boulevard de ejército, take uh, the Navy's Boulevard, <laughs> okay, take. Then uh, La Meda Juan Pablo II, right? When you get to Los Héroes Boulevard, turn right, go straight ahead, siga recto, go straight ahead. Uh, straight for, ahead. For maybe two or three kilometers. Okay, and then on the right, you will see the Bloom Hospital. The National University is in front of you. Okay, teacher. Okay, all right. Teacher, pero también podríamos decir que go to a straight to Alameda Juan Pablo II. ¿Cómo se diría? Llegando a... Al, al, a, a Inde. Get to, no, uh, going to right to Inde, and then go to the straight. But, o sea, digo, para hacerlo eh, decir el nombre de la calle y que siga recto, ¿ok? Uh -huh. But if you know that, for example, when you get, eh, when you get, eh, turn off the microphone. Okay. Entonces, eh, le puede decir, eh, when you get to, uh, when you get to Indes, cuando llegue al Indes, turn right, then go straight ahead, le dice el nombre de la calle, yo no sé cuál es, que es, go straight ahead, eh, on that street, and when you get, y cuando llegue a tal parte, turn left or turn right, y ahí lo va dirigiendo. Ok, entonces, so when you get to, turn right, turn left, straight ahead. Okay, straight ahead, no. recto. Uh -huh. Una question, teacher. O sea que yes. Para darle una dirección tiene que ser así, turn right or turn left. ¿sí? Turn right or turn ubique. left, para que cruce. Para que siga recto, así, en, digamos, en, lo que pasa es que ya como... La pregunta es, ya una distancia más extensa. Si ustedes ven en los mapas, son distancias cortas. Ya que, uh -huh. ajá, entonces, es de walk up, camine dos cuadras, camine aquí. Ok, por ejemplo, eh, usé un ejemplo en la clase anterior que le decía, estamos en Sertrasen, a metro, a, al centro cultural, right? And you say, walk up Cicimiles Avenue for 400 meters, and then centro cultural is on the right across from Metro Centro, hasta ahí, Entonces, camine cuatro, 400 metros, el Centro Cultural está a la derecha y está enfrente de Metro Centro, ya no se pierde, right? Y ahí para allá, vayas a Metro, a, 
and Mr. Donuts. So I say, walk up to Los Heroes Boulevard. Okay, camine hasta el Boulevard de los Heroes. Turn right. Okay, walk down. Walk down Los Heroes Boulevard for 200 meters. And then uh, Mr. Donuts is on the right across from Pizza Hut. Okay, estas son más okay. sencillas. Estas son más sencillas. Este aquí es de walk up. Va de ahí, de, uh, to the National University. Okay, walk on. También es sobre walk on. Okay, es de caminar más. But walk on Los Heroes Boulevard for, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, like for six blocks, 600, six cuadras, okay? And then uh, you will see the National University in front of you, okay? Okay, okay. Entonces, esa sería así en, ahora ya en, digamos, en distancias como esa, ya no es, ya aquí es, tome el, el take, take the, lo, el Boulevard del Ejército, toma el Boulevard del Ejército. And when you get to La Tiendona, turn right and take the Alameda Juan Pablo II. When you get to Indes, turn right, que es lo que decía Larisa, and take the road, que no sé cómo se llama la calle. And then you go. Okay, then when you get, so that's a different one. Okay? Okay. Good. Another one, another one, another one. Good. Let me check on this. And now we have Just listening, okay? Okay, good. Now, uh, let me see, Luis Canales, can you please brief these four questions? Hello, Luis. Hello, hello. Okay, can you read uh, last, this? Last yes, the okay. questions only, huh? Where can the woman get stops? Stamps. stamps. Uh huh. What do they What do they need? What do they need? Where is the gas station? Perfect. How can the woman get to the restroom? To a restroom. Okay. So these are the four questions that you are going to answer. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Units 13 to 14, progress check. Page 98, exercise one, listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. 
They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay. Can you answer or do you want to listen again? Can I escuchar de nuevo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Please. Good. Units 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. 1. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me. Is there a gas station around here? Um... I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay. Where can the woman get a stamps? At the drugstore. At the drugstore. Drug 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 okay. At the drugstore. What do they need? They need, they need drinks. They need drinks. They need drinks. Okay, they need drinks. Where is the gas station? On the corner, the corner of Main and, and First. Corner of Main and First. Okay. How can the woman get to a restroom? Go up the street for two blocks and third left. She can use the restroom. Okay, go down the street for two blocks and turn left. She can use the restroom at the restaurant. This one? No, go out. Go up. Go up. Okay. Good. Let's see. Okay, number four is correct. Number three, number two, and number one are also correct. Okay, so we have this one. See, we have 34 points. Okay, it's good. Okay, Sara, can you please read this uh, objective here? By the end of this class, you will develop, De de develop. skills. Develop skills in ready reading for the talents in making inference. inferences inferences right? good okay this is something that we do in spanish right for example details is to find information that describes what we are reading right and making inferences is read between the lines okay is there a lawyer in this group? No? Yes? Uh, no. You're a lawyer? No, no, teacher. No, no, okay. Anybody? Lawyers? Me, teacher. Ah, oh, Luis, no. Who? Mauricio Alarcón. Okay, Mauricio, okay, Mauricio. Okay, for example, lawyers, lawyers have to, when they read, what do you do with the law? ¿Qué hacen con la ley? 
cuando lee una ley. Interpretarla. Exactly, right? Eso es inference. O sea, si interpreta, se lee entre líneas, right? You read between the lines. Yes? Sí. Okay, in that case, then it's, for example, when you say making inferences. Entonces, esas habilidades que uno ya tiene en español, solo se transfieren al inglés. No es difícil. Lo acá lo único que se necesita es aprenderse el vocabulario en inglés. Right? So then, for example, si usted ya lo, ya lo hacen en Spanish, right? When you read, you, like Mauricio says, right? Interpretation. You read between the lines. Okay, this, esto lo que quiere decir es esto. Sí, es aunque no está literal. Right? So this is what you are going to see in this, in this reading, right? About, for example, here it says, walk up eh, Fifth Avenue. ¿De qué creen que se trata este video? Al ver el título. A walk up. Eh, forma de llegar a un lugar. Okay. Uh -huh. And then, exactly, right? Eso ya estamos ahí infiriendo, aunque estamos acá y vamos a empezar a, a escuchar. What they say, right? It's like a tour, right? In the different ways, y las formas diferentes de llegar a un lugar. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on 5th Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. 2. Now walk up 5th Avenue 7 blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street. Walk another block and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows Many of these windows come from France. Okay. Good. So what is this little article about? The que, uh, de que se trata el, el article? En sus propias palabras, in your own words. Es como que fuera un guía turístico que está enseñando, eh, que está enseñando Nueva York, por ejemplo, los lugares más emblemáticos de Nueva York. Digo ok. Yo, eh, Perfecto, ok. Fin. No, that's fine, that's fine. Ok, no lo dice así, miren, les vamos a hablar de los lugares emblemáticos, los lugares que debe visitar, pero eso es lo que se infiere, right? Que lo que nos están queriendo decir acá es que estos lugares hay que visitarlos y como decía Mauricio, nos están indicando cómo llegar a cada uno de ellos. Entonces, los detalles son cómo llegar a cada uno de ellos, okay? las details y aquello de que, bueno, esto es como un tour que nos están diciendo qué lugares visitar, eh, qué hay en esos lugares, ok. Y ahí está ya más o menos, es la, lo que uno infiere por, de este artículo, ok. En la like, en like that, you can... You can talk about, for example, a state in Ireland, you can visit uh, Brooklyn, uh, you can go to Wall Street and different places and give in directions, okay? So basically that is the strategy, right? To read, to find uh, the meaning, okay? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of the article? Okay, el propósito, right? The, propo the purpose is, you know, to give us a tour around the city. 
Now, uh, any questions about vocabulary? Here, start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 3rd and 34th, 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. No problem? The second one says, now walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks to the New York Public Library, okay? The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Street. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there is an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Okay, casi igual que en el Central Park. Por ejemplo, que sería, entiendo la frase, this library, library holds over 10 million books, como que guarda algo así. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Ahí, uh -huh. se, ahí se mantienen más de 10 millones de libros. Ok. Uh -huh. menos, menos los que se quemaron en la película de Day After. Right? <risa> Esa es la, es la que sale ahí en la película. Ok. Good. Number three. Walk up 6th Avenue, go 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19th building. Ok, 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Okay. Son 19 edificios del Centro Rockefeller, right? Entre eso está la Rockefeller Tower. Es casi igual que esto, right? And you have to pay like 40 or $50 for the elevator. Okay, no problem with the vocabulary? Hey, teacher, yes. the block is como cuadra. Entonces. Exact, yes. Mm -hmm. It's an, an estimado de 100 metros, right? It's about a block. Mm -hmm. Como la cuadra. Okay. Yes. okay. Number four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's a modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of them, many of these windows come from France. Is it okay? No questions? Uh, what means colon, colon, German? Ah, es eh, germánico. Es, ajá, no, es, eh, es after the cathedral. Eh, ¿Cómo le dijera? La, la, la arquitectura de la St. Patrick Cathedral que está en Nueva York Está diseñada, model after, como la catedral que está en Colonia, eh, Alemania. Colonia es, un, es una ciudad de allá de Alemania. Colon, Germany. Es como una réplica. Como una réplica. Uh -huh. eh, donde dice, I live the noisy city, noisy air. Many ruido, of these windows. Como, como ruidosa. Escandalosa, ruidosa, yes, noisy. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the rink, and the number three says, in the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Rink es este, es como un ring que hacen de, para pistas de patinaje, right? De hielo o de, del otro normal, right? So this is the rink. Y sale mi pobre angelito en esta pista. Ahí ponen el, el, donde ponen el árbol de Navidad y todo eso, yes. This, uh, these are places that they, that they, you can see in movies, right? So like the, the parks and everything. Okay, remember New York is a very famous city, right? 
All right, let me see what else. Uh, no, no more questions? No doubts? Me teacher. Ajá, Mauricio. Eh, con respecto a la, a la pronunciación de, de la palabra de, de centro. Ah, ok, centro. Algunos hablan center y otros hablan center, pero no uh -huh. sé cuál es el correcto porque, o cuál es el uso común, digamos. El común es center. Center. Uh, center, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Eh, uh -huh. De hecho, esta palabra, este es americano y los británicos la, le cambian sí. la RE. Uh -huh. No le ponen uh -huh. center, sino que centre. Y lo pronuncian, y lo pronuncian center. Rockefeller center. center. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero lo digamos, ameri los americanos no, o sea, comúnmente dicen cena. La T, uh -huh. cuando hay una NT, por lo general lo pronuncian como una N, ¿verdad? Es center. Uh, center, uh, center. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So if you say center, Thanks. no problem. If you say center, it's also okay. Muchas veces es como esta palabra. Eh, esta, okay. And the number four, look. It says St. Patrick and leave, and let me say, and leave the noisy city behind. Behind or behind. Behind is más al norte. Remember que más al norte de Estados Unidos a veces se habla un poquito más sofisticado, por ejemplo, Chicago, en esas áreas de ahí, se oye un inglés más, más, más refinado, digamos, right? Que en, que en el centro o más hacia el sur. Okay. Well, Bronx. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then here you say behind or you can say behind. Entonces, el, la más común es behind, pero al norte, más al norte, se oye, se oye behind. Chicago, por ejemplo. Ok. Thank you. So this is behind, center, center. That's okay. Good. Come from France. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, okay, me, se me activo. Windows come from France. Uh-huh. Y este, digamos, si cuando dice downtown. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, downtown. Es como decir el centro de la ciudad, ¿verdad? Right? Downtown. Uh -huh. Remember, if you want to say, uh, if you want to go... If you are in Santa Ana, you go downtown, but right? centro de Santa Ana. If you say, if you are in uh, Lourdes, you say downtown, ahí donde está el mercado es el downtown. Y en San oh, Salvador, okay. downtown es todo el área de Rubén Darío, and that, all this. Depending on the city, eh, depende de la ciudad, es larger, right? O es más grande o más pequeño. Okay. Yes. Okay. Pero cada... Yes. Cada departamento, cada ciudad, digamos, tiene su downtown. Ok. Ok, good. Ok, now I guess the next one is the test. Ok, si empezaron a hacer el test, este es para el test, yes, el midterm, midterm exam. Eh, recuerden de que para cuando hagan este test, tienen que darle clic a este, si lo ocupan en computadora, y les abre una window, pops up another window, luego lo pueden dar play acá, One. y regresan a la Are you do anything special this weekend, a Julie? pantalla para well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. y anotando. How old is he gonna be? He's going to be 13. Cuando termine y lo quieren volver a escuchar, eh, pueden escucharlo dos, tres veces. Yo les recomiendo que escuchen la primera vez para ambientarse con las preguntas y el vocabulario. Ya la segunda vez para responder en un papel aparte. Y ya una tercera ya para darle, o sea, ya solo para revisar las respuestas que dieron. Ya como double check, se dice en inglés. Double check para... Ok, entonces eso le va para esta parte del listening. Acá pues solo es de clic, 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 clic. Solo hay una, no hay problema. Hay, hay unas que hay que escribir, pero en este, eso quiero ver acá ahorita. Match the questions with the answers. Aquí hay six questions. Hay six questions y hay seis respuestas. Ok, hay una para cada uno. Aquí tienen que leer detenidamente las preguntas. Are we going to work on this weekend? Cualquiera podría decir, yes, I am, I'm going to go swimming. Pero no, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de work. 
¿Cuál es la que más, digamos, más lógica para esta respuesta? A, B, C, D, E, or F. La C, creo. Then you will go for C. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Que es lo opuesto al trabajo, right? Now we're going to relax. Y estamos hablando de we. Ok. Entonces aquí lo mismo. Are they going to cook? Y podrían irse por tal vez por... Hay dos que tienen de ahí. No puede ser esta, no puede ser esta, ni esta. Pero estas dos tienen que escoger una. ¿Cuál es la que tiene más lógica? Y aquí solo es de clic. Son las mismas respuestas, pero cada, cada pregunta tiene una respuesta diferente. Ok, let me see what else. No hay nada. Estas solo son de clic también, no. No le va a dar mayor problema. This one is the same. Here it says, select WH questions to complete the conversations. Hay que escoger una de estas que vaya de acuerdo a this answer, right? How are you going to get there next summer? No, ¿verdad? Where are you going to go next summer? Okay, este tiene sentido. The letter B dice, next summer. And then we're going to go to Alaska. Okay, then you click. Okay. Alaska, wow. Entonces, van buscando la pregunta de acá que responda mejor esta respuesta de acá. Okay. Then, then, then. Estas son de click también. No hay mayor problem. Acá en esta, okay, this is what we were practicing. Instruct, complete the conversation, select the correct word. I feel a headache, I get a headache, or I have a headache. Tienen que ver la respuesta, ¿verdad? Está acá, I have a headache, and then, no se confundan con, en español con drink y take. Drink es como beber. To take is from my right take. Yes. Let me see, let me see if there's some options. Yes, you have to choose one from each one. And then we have home remedies. Este como lo que acabamos de ver es una lectura comprensiva. Creo que si tienen algún problema, no, pero esta no se, ah, cómo no. Let me see. En caso que lo vean en computador y, o, les, o en teléfono, era muy pequeño, acá lo pueden ver con mayor facilidad. Y luego venir acá a contestar. Let me see what else, yes. Then we have the next one. Teacher. Yes. Insomnio se dice así, insomnia. Insomnia, yes. Yes. Ok. And, y eso es todo. No está difícil, si ustedes ven, está más sencillo este. Eh, le me decía, y aquí ya, ya, ya comenzamos el lunes con... El lunes, si gustan, podemos ver algunos detalles del examen, preguntas que les hayan quedado de, de lo que han visto para que no queden dudas de esas tres secciones. These two sections we can study, and then we begin the section four, and then two more sections, section four and section five. Okay, everybody? Okay. Questions, doubts? Uh, teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes, please. Este, con las, las preguntas que estábamos haciendo de if you have, este, ahora mi hermana me, me dijo que tenía una mala pero no sé si es verdad. Mm -hmm. Había puesto, if you have hungry. Oh, yes. If you are. If you are, ok. Mm -hmm. Es que eh, recuerden que la, el if es un condicional. ¿va? Si tienes hambre, haz tal cosa. Pero, por ejemplo, cuando se eh, dice, por ejemplo, I am hungry, no, I, I have hungry. Ok, hay cosas que en español las usamos, pero en inglés no. Ok. Por ejemplo, you can say, tengo hambre en español. Yes, but in English, 
se, se interpreta como I am hungry. Eh, let me see another one. Eh, tengo sed, por ejemplo. Se, eh, sed es thirst. O estoy sediento. En, ese, en inglés se dice I am thirsty. Estoy sediento. Then if you are thirsty, do this, okay? So in that case, if you are hungry, if I am hungry, no, if, if I am hungry, I, whenever I am hungry, I go to the kitchen. If I am hungry, I eat a sandwich, if I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, she was right. Sí, me dio, igual me dio el ejemplo de, de, de que cuando yo digo mi edad, no digo I have. Uh -huh. I have 22. It's, I am. Yes. I am 21. I am yes. Ese es otro buen ejemplo también. Correct. Que no usamos para la edad. Yo tengo tantos años. Not in English, right? In English you say, uh, you. I am. Oh, thank you. Okay, everyone. Another, uh, other questions? Another doubt? Algo que quieran compartir? Pupusas? No? You're hungry? No? Sleepy? Oh, this is another one. For example, when you say, I am sleepy, no, se dice, no tengo sueño, no que estoy como soñoliento. Pero no se dice, I have a sleep. Okay? That's another one. You, uno puede decir, tuve un sueño. I had a dream. Okay? Tuve un sueño de que uno soñó. Cuando se tengo sueño de ir a dormir, I am asleep. Okay? Well, if you have no questions, eh, I will see you on Monday, okay? So have, okay. A nice, have a nice weekend, relax, answer the Thanks. exam, and you can check the video tomorrow morning, okay? Bye-bye, have a good night. Take care. care. Good night. Okay, teacher. Bye, good night. Okay, good night. Nice good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye, Larissa. Good night, teacher.